What's up everyone, Prince of Mania from Quick Homes Rwanda and welcome to another exciting episode. Today I'm in Kanombe and about to tour this amazing property behind me. This home is nice, it's built with good quality and the price is not so bad, it's actually affordable. We're looking at 4 bedrooms, 3 bathrooms today, it's an open living room space and it's nice, it's neatly constructed with just nice design features around the house and this home is on the market for 95 million Rwandan francs or around 87 or 90 thousand dollars depending on the current exchange rate it's fluctuating a lot these days now you can find more contact de uh, more details about this video and this property and our contact details in the description down below and without further ado please enjoy this episode to show you this particular home. There are clusters of construction sites that are popping up in different parts of the city. For instance, I'm in Kanombe. In this particular area, I'll maybe put some b-rolls. We have about eight houses that are currently being constructed. Some have finished that are all on the market. They have almost similar finishes and the pricing is about the same. So I realize I'll be showing you some of these so that if one catches your eye, you know, you can just call and restart the discussion. Now, more about this particular home. We start our episode from out here in the parking space. As you can see, this is a really spacious parking space. If it was me, I would reduce these pavers and make it a garden on the other side because we'll see the garden just shortly. But it has a big parking space that can accommodate six small cars or four big cars. This is really a ton of space. And as you can see, the parking space is actually close to this gate. The gate is well designed as well. You have this blue orangey or blue yellowish texture in the middle as an accent. And also we have these clay bricks that also comes in handy because they are good, they're good quality. So they are also used and you'll see them around uh, the, the, the cladding on the main house. Now, the parking is here and we are close to the airport. So if you can see, we have some plane landing nearby. I don't know if the video can show it. Well, that plane was very loud. We had to stop a little bit, but coming to the property, you can see that the home is actually presentable. It's pretty inviting with some nice colors. You have texture of these, uh, you know, clay, burnt clay bricks, which is just all on the top. You have some stone finish over here. You have some blue wall master on the other side. These are materials that can really take a beating from the sun and rain, because we get a lot of rain in Rwanda. And as well, you have some pavers in the parking. You have some nice tiles coming inside the property on this uh, right side of the home we have this nice uh, kind of secluded it's not so secluded really but it's a private balcony for the master bedroom so we'll see the inside where you can access it that's a sliding door but this is really like a private balcony for the master bedroom it's a door so if you're coming home you have guests inside but you want to pass inside so that you can get ready you use that door instead of passing through the guests you know not ready now Let's get to this front balcony and see what is there. Before I go inside, we have this nice, I don't know, I would call it like a garnish of a garden because this little garden is just a decoration purpose. It's like a big vase, but that is attached to the house. And again, yeah, this is becoming a new trend with these white stones. They come from the Eastern part of the country. They are pretty neat and clean, but wait until you have kids so that they throw them at the windows. I almost went inside without showing you that this particular home as well has a garden. So you have a small garden over here. 
that's what I was saying, you know, if it was me, I would just probably extend a little bit the garden. I think it would be good. But overall, you have some space to show you ideas of what you can do with your space. Now, coming inside the property, we have this uh, kind of patio where we land and as well, it's pretty welcoming. Nice area, you can set up some seating over here. The view is actually not so bad. You have uh, your space, it's a, it's, a, it's a niche where you can put maybe family portraits. I don't think flowers can hold here, it's a small distance, but you can put, you know, like a painting or something similar or a light fixture that you like, which is good and could be presentable. Standing from here, we can see the hill in front of Ndera. So, I mean, it's all right, it's not so bad. It doesn't have uh, much of a view, but also has that one. Now, coming inside the property, we now get to see what this place looks like. And this is a nice living room. I mean, look at this. This is big, it's spacious, pretty inviting. I love the wood texture tiles they went with. I love the way they, they created this nice symmetry with um, these light uh, kind of niches where you can put family portraits. These are beautiful opportunities for decoration. You can put some flower pots. This one at least is even deeper. So you can actually put some, flower, some flowers over here to look nice with these spotlights that give it a light. And again, some stone finish in the background. The TV area is also very well stated so you have this war i mean i think even if you would have a hundred inches tv that would be still be okay deep some ceilings above with a detail of some epoxy actually underneath or behind the gypsum i think that's neat we'll probably show you a close-up for that one and a nice chandelier in the middle to give this room a really 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 nice texture now before we enter um the dining area we get to see this nice transition uh, where you enter i think this is a neat feature they did they did it's the first house i'm seeing in it with this nice pole it's not a pole where they dance but it's a nice pole pretty neat it completes the space and some storage area so you know who's gonna who's gonna lose the remote control if they have somewhere they can store them i think this is this is a nice use of space and again we get here we get to the dining area now this dining area is as well very good pretty clean pretty spacious i mean look at this thing you can fit what eight seater here no problem at all you have your hand washing station with a mirror over here nice trend i love it and on this other side we have this kind of big opening that kind of open you up for the kitchen and it's an open kitchen i run on the other side to show you what it looks like now Popping up from here, I'm now in the kitchen, so I think this is pretty practical. It's pretty practical because if you are cooking, you're not alone, you know. You have a space where you can put your, your, your stools so people can just be chatting with you as you're preparing some meal. If it's your kids in the morning, you just chop it really quickly and give it to them. Nice granite countertops over here, MDF cabinets everywhere and actually plenty and plenty of cabinets really opportunity to store so many things you don't even need a pantry in this scenario because this is a lot of storage space double sink over here space for your stove space for your fridge on the other side i think this is just an amazing kitchen now let me get back inside there so that we discuss some more uh, coming to this particular property we're now going to check the first guest bedroom and we get access to it from here and as you can see, this bedroom is self-contained with an all right bedroom size. So we have the bedroom over here, all right size. You can fit a bed in here of what? Around 1.6 meters in width. So this is good. One thing I have to tell you, in Rwanda, sometimes we have a mix of plugs. So you find European plugs like these ones, you can replace them for double use that can fit European style and American style. So when you come here, you can see that, you know, you, please always remember to verify what kind of uh, plug station that you have so that, you know, you, you use according adapters if necessary or if it's possible, you change them. Uh, it's usually not so expensive to do. Now, coming this side, we have 
our first bathroom and this bedroom the first guest bedroom is self-contained um, of course you have your handheld only uh, I don't know why they went cheap on it sorry but they have um, you have your handheld over here space for your walking and on this side we have our vanity and mirror for brushing teeth and preparing and washing hands toilet over here I think the placement is all right the tiring goes all the way to the top and the space is actually all right now as I said this home has four bedrooms so we have two accesses that exit the house from the inside so one is in the kitchen we'll see it because I'll exit from it and another one is on this bedroom side so the idea is we love our privacy here in Rwanda, like Rwandans in the culture. So if family stays on this side and you have a guest on the other side, you can step outside, get some things, a few, a few things clear and present them to the guests because we respect our guests so much without them saying you do that. So it's like an exit point or an escape point for, you know, the family. Now, the second bedroom is over here. And again, similar size to what we just saw. Nice uh, floors with these tiles that kind of has like a wood texture, high ceilings with langet. I don't know the actual word in English. It's called langet. That's what we call it. The ceilings that we have over here. Gypsum ceilings continues in the corridor and this gives us access to the door I was talking about. So that's the exit door or the safety door for, for the family. And again, we have uh, another bedroom over here, which is the third bedroom. Again, similar size. You can fit here uh, a 1.6 uh, meter bed in width, which is quite spacious and a right size. And these two bedrooms that we just toured share this particular bathroom over here as well this is your walk-in shower again with the handheld you have your toilet over here and on this side you have your vanity where you do all the facial cleaning and hand washing the remaining part is our master bedroom and welcome this is the master accessing the master you get to see that it's bigger it's like three times or two two and a half times the size of the other rooms that we saw this is huge this is huge bedroom so you know you have space for your king super king size bed that you can fit in here because this room is humongous you have plugs for your tv on this other side so if you want to hang a tv on here it will be easy you have your cable connection and some plugs and you remember at the beginning of the video i showed you the private balcony for the master so this is the sliding door that takes you outside so this sliding door kind of gives you uh, access to this private balcony uh, it's an exclusivity for the for the boss of the house continuing our tour we now see that this room as well has a closet so you have your closet space in here it's made of mdf similar wood texture than what we saw, as what we saw in the kitchen as well and coming here we now get to see the last part of the main house which is the master shower and the master shower as well is here good toilets you have your bathtub and on here you have your floating vanity and mirror usually this comes as a combo you know you have yeah this for your usage i think this the size of this master shower is good and very inviting now the next thing is let's go outside and tour what the back of the property looks like so we'll get a chance to actually use this other door the uh, you know the one that the guests use the one that you use to bring some supplies in the kitchen so all that you pass here to access the back of the property I mean this is not so much of a bad space this thing is actually good because you have your uh, dry uh, drying lines which will be installed here we usually dry our clothes by hanging them on the line you have the back of the property over here and then outdoor kitchen so if you come in here you get to see what it looks like this actually looks pretty neat if I would say you have three uh, stoves these are charcoal stoves so you can use wood or charcoal 
uh, on these particular three stoves. You have space, you know, this is workable space where you can position different things or chop different things depending on what you want. Some more working space over here, your dirty, dirty uh, dishes kind of sink over here. Again, so many people have actually raised why this place is left you know with bars someone ever mentioned in the comments that it looked like a prison of course it looks like it because it's outside it's outside so Rwanda is safe but you don't need to leave anybody chances there's no need so usually what happens is people put those bars so that you know you can close it because sometimes there is a storage attached to this particular area or you have some private material that you have stored there you don't need somebody really misplacing things uh, without you wanting them to do on this other side the more things that we have we have our maid room it's closed we have our maid room in here it's actually pretty big because it goes all the way there and we have a tank of water 2000 liters above and you have this outdoor bathroom so it's a toilet it's a toilet and a shower on this side so additional stuff and that's all with the back of the property all right everyone that's it with the episode i had for you today as we saw we looked at this particular home in kanombe it's you know within a cluster of about eight houses that are being constructed at the same time and this particular one has four bedrooms three bathrooms it's a nice property very newly constructed with an open kitchen and all the nine yards of details that you need in your particular home it's on the market for well around ninety thousand dollars you can actually find this property and more details in the description down below and as always please consider subscribing if you're new here turn on that notification bell and find every single upload that we do because we upload regularly and please drop us a like youtube loves it as we love having you in every single episode until next time